Even Tequila's kangaroos can hold the top spot, in maintaining love for up to 14 hours. And lions are not inferior to having a frequency of up to 20 to 40 love times in a day. It can also last four days in a row. That shows that in the reaching the emotional paradise, these animals are truly worthy of the world. So besides the big brothers and sisters in the bed village, there are any animals that dare to go to the list of species. Animals do the weirdest sex in the natural world. Yes, today's video we will continue to take you to that ecstasy of some animals. It will definitely surprise you, especially the final boss. So let's get started. Special types that have the most unique stories that you probably didn't even know of. First, the giraffe that tastes urine to test the mates. First, we will come to the grasslands, inhabited by giraffes to visit these tall guys and girls. Giraffes are quite interesting animals and extremely attractive to anyone, whether children or adults, probably due to its large size and the extremely eye-catching features it possesses. A silky golden coat with a few brown dots that looks warm. Four long legs that are longer than some top supermodels. And a meter long neck is extremely amusing for the little ones. It is also because of that great height that gives the giraffe that has been honored to be chosen to send gold as a brand ambassador for many famous diary companies that we know of. It is interesting, isn't it? So, how will the giraffe guys and girls when it comes to the breeding season? Why do we classify them as a species with a strange mating behavior? Don't be impatient, we'll let you know soon. During the breeding season, the male giraffes will roam a lot in a herd in search of a suitable female giraffe to begin the breeding process. They have a very interesting way of checking their children. You are wondering, what do they want to test in their children? Oh, they need to check if the female is ovulating or not, so that they can still choose to send the gold. And the way they do it is to nudge the female's butt to get her to urinate and taste the urine to test it. Well, it is strange. And how can they tell the difference? Which is the urine of the ovulating female and which is the urine of a non-ovulating child? According to scientists, they have a strange tongue, which can detect a specific substance in the urine of females at the right time to reproduce. After a suitable object has been identified, the males will become countering to the female deer by pursuing them. Literally understood guys that they will chase their children until they agree to have sex. However, the rain clouds of giraffes are also very difficult because their necks are so long that they become awkward in this work. Number two, the panda, the caring mate. Well, welcome to the kingdom of cuteness, the world of pandas. The panda is China's national treasure, an animal that attracts a lot of attention around the world, not only because of their rarity, but also because of their loveliness. When it comes to them, people not only whisper because of their tiny little eyes with black hairs in their sockets, but also because of their chubby, clumsy bodies. Recently, when a baby panda cub was born in Singapore, the whole world was extremely excited, because in order to have such a lovely bear, the whole team had to give maximum support to the baby panda couple. What made the reproduction so difficult? The reason is that this researcher has shown that in a year of 365 days, the female pandas can only receive sperm for three short days. Therefore, in order to have a baby panda, the male panda must choose the right time to fertilize. However, the male pandas are not in any hurry, friends. If there was an award for the most thoughtful male, it would definitely go to the male panda. They are always gentle and ready to wait when the female bear is really ready to have sex for the breeding season. They enthusiastically accept it, and it is so great, isn't it? It's true that pandas are not only cute on the outside, but also really cute in their personalities. 
Number three, the Bonobo Monkey. It knows how to take a selfie. Our group landed very smoothly in the habitat of the Bonobo Monkeys. How do their names really sound? They are quite close relatives to us humans, so their love life is also quite similar to ours. If we build society based on social relationships, intimate relationships, or then the Bonobo Monkey build this society based on sex. Well, it's like a common type of social behavior among species folks. They seem to use sexual behavior in every social situation in which they participate in. Sometimes they do get to greet each other, or apologize, or ask for more food. Sometimes used to resolve conflicts. This society sounds crazy, but by nature we can control that. And a very special thing about this monkey, they are extremely romantic with the French kiss. Moreover, they can also take a selfie, and they do it very often. That said, they have love affairs quite similar to ours. Number four, snails. Use arrows of love. After leaving the home of the Bonobo monkeys, we will come together to the territory of snails. Small, slow snails will have something interesting to attract us here. Snails are hemophobitites. They have copulation characteristics that are far different from other species. Even Hamaphroditus likes worms. They possess a thing called arrow of love to shoot before rain clouds. It sounds as if Cupid's arrow of love was shot out of a match love for couples. However, Cupid's arrow is invisible, with the snail's arrow is visible. It is a compound containing calcium, and quite hard and small. It makes the snail more receptive to sperm when they release from their eye the snail. It is true that one arrow hits two targets, and both can find a mate and can easily fertilize in a moment. A very special thing about this species. The slug that lives on bananas has a rather long penis compared to its body. The length is determined up to 15 to 20 millimeters long, but will cause a lot of trouble for their friends. They are noted to have had very bad accidents when they got their penises stuck in their partner's body. Long is not always a good thing, right? Number five, the clownfish, self transsexual it has been a long time on land, so now we will go to the water together to explore further. And our first target here is the beautiful clownfish in the ocean. Clownfish with very colorful colors often live in schools and pairs. There are many larger schools of clownfish, but there is not a single female. So in that case, how can they maintain the herd? That is an interesting question. In fact, they didn't bother them at all because clownfish are born with the ability to self-transgender. That is, when there is a need, they will be able to switch from one sex to another easily and without cutlery. And when such a large herd has no females, the largest male will assume the great responsibility and transform himself into the female sex mate with other males to reproduce and maintain the breed for the family and the whole herd. The division of duties is also clear without controversy at all, because it is the big fish that have the best health to take on the highest responsibility. Wow, what a wonderful creation it is, isn't it? Number 6. Dolphins. Extremely high desire. And the last character on our visit today, the smartest guy in the sea, the dolphin. Dolphins are quite human-friendly animals. Moreover, they are very intelligent, and therefore, they are the main focus of the ocean's attention. Such friendly, but male dolphins have extremely monstrous sex lives. It can be said that they are the most promiscuous animals in the world, because they not only have sex with female dolphins, they also have relationships with other animals, even inanimate objects. And according to the researchers, they have such behavior because their needs are very high, much higher than other species. However, the time it takes for a dolphin to ejaculate is only 12 seconds. What a guy with a lot, but no quality, right? 
dolphins' penises is also quite special, compared to other species. They can rotate and even retract inside the body. I can only laminate one sentence. Creation is amazing. Well, so we've ended today's video here. Nature is full of wonderful things, isn't it? Leave a comment down below to let us know how you feel. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and follow us to see more interesting topic videos. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.